So hello everybody and welcome to another Power BI video. I am going to show you two tricks for the matrix. Number one is how to sort the columns so you can put it in the order that you like. Number two, it is how to set the width of the column. Okay, I mentioned that it was possible to do it with DAX and you guys were asking me, so let's cover both. Let's get started. Okay, so I have in front of me the Northwind dataset that we always use, and I just put in in a table at the moment. It is a year, sales, and category name. If we change this to a matrix, and um, we put the category name as row, and I put year, you're going to see that it sorts by uh, numerical order. This is a numerical um, Feel also is sorts by number. So 1996 will be first and 1998 will be last. It could be that you want to have it the other way around because when you're adding columns, you want to have the first year first. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So unfortunately, you cannot sort it using this. Just let me tell you. <laughs> but it should be possible, but it's not. So what you are going to do is you're going to create another year on the calendar table or on the table that you have the year on. Uh, so I'm going to call this sort, I have the microphone in the middle, so it's year equal, and then I'm going to put year, and then the date column, and then I'm going to multiply it by minus one. The reason for that is because I want them to, this is going to be my year sort column. So I wanted to, instead of ascending, descending. So I'm going to enter, and this will be my sort column, sort year. So if we go back and now grab year and say sort by year, look at that. You see that it changed? So in order to be able to sort columns on a matrix, you need to have a sort column. You can do that in Power Query preferably. Uh, and if it is text, you, you need to find an order that makes sense and create that column and then it will sort. OK, so the next tip is how to set the width on the matrix. And uh, to do that, you need to do a little bit of DAX and a little bit of settings on the matrix itself. So the first thing that you need to do, I never remember what it's called, but I know that it has something to do with rows because we want to put the columns as rows. So if we search by rows, you'll see here, show on rows, you turn that on. Then you go in here and then you're going to create a new measure that is going to set the width of your set the width of the matrix and we're going to put it like very 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 big so you can see that it actually sets it so now you drop the set width into the values and because we put it set as rows what it's going to do is put it below and that is what is going to set the column width you can see that it just got bigger now that you have that you have to go to the pane and then you uh, I think it's called auto something. Search. You get rid of the out size column width, so it doesn't automatically change the size. And then you get rid of the set width. And as you can see, it changed it. It changed the width. You can easily see that if we would go to auto size again, turn it on, and you'll see it gets smaller. Okay, so that's the way to do it. I think there should be buttons for both of these things on the matrix. Hopefully they will add it very, very soon. But until now, unfortunately, this is the only way to go. So I hope that this video was useful until they add these things to the matrix. I will see you again on Wednesday with another video. Until then, take care. Bye bye.